This is where I think Abdullah gave me hep C. You can see here he's cutting his own head with his razor blade that's taped to his finger, right where all the scars are on his forehead, what he's been doing for the past 50 years, every time he wrestles. And now you can see him cutting me very fast, quick motions on my forehead with the same blade taped to his fingers. And now you can see the fresh blood pouring out of my head. And I'm like, what the hell? What am I seeing what I think I'm seeing? I rewind the tape, I watch it again. I'm like, he's cutting me. Even in the bloody confines of the wrestling ring, there is a code of conduct. And Devin insists no matter how brutal the matches with Abdullah got, he never agreed to a blade. One thing you're never supposed to do in a wrestling match is cut somebody without their permission, or especially cut somebody with an instrument or cutting tool that has already been inside of yourself. Devin says Abdullah the Butcher broke that code, leaving him with a serious disease and no choice but to sue his former friendly rival. My name is Ronald Kaza, and I'm representing Devin Nicholson in uh, a lawsuit against Abdullah the Butcher. We're alleging in our lawsuit that Devin was the victim of basically an assault. Uh, he was the victim of negligence, that he was wrestling with someone who knew or should have known that proceeding to cut Devin like he did without his consent and without Devin's knowledge uh, was putting Devin's, basically, his life at risk and surely his career at risk. This claim has not come out of nowhere. We've been asking for Abdullah's blood work for a very long time, for over a year and he has not provided us blood work. The reason why I think Abdullah won't give me a blood sample is because he has something to hide. I'm not trying to hide nothing. I'm not trying to hide nothing. Abdullah's head is a testament to his bloody craft. Permanent scars caused by deliberately cutting himself over and over again. People like violence. That's number one. To draw people to bring them back, you have to do what? You gotta give him entertainment. This is the blade. He showed us how he keeps the fans coming back. Break it in half. And I would tape it from here, around like this. Now, for me to hit myself, I would hit myself like this. He even bled for us. You see it? But he insists he doesn't have hep C. And even if he did, he denies ever cutting Devin. He has wrestled many wrestlers. You understand? So how can you say that it came from Abdullah the Butcher? If he was here right now, the first thing yeah. I would say to him, Devin, you know the way I use my blade, and you know the way you use your blade. You understand what I mean? Now, I have never cut you. You understand? As for Abdullah's test results, he told us he was expecting them any day. We're still waiting. And so is Devin. And now that Abdullah the Butcher's uh, blood tests have gone public, his real name is Larry Shreve, they're public record now, and uh, everyone is beginning to see that uh, the likely hood of him passing hep C to me by cutting me with an unsanitary razor blade is likely more likely than not. Coming up new at 6, a victory outside the ring. An Ottawa man wins a multi-million dollar lawsuit against a wrestling legend. Why a judge believes he contracted hepatitis C during a match. Top story. It was a battle over bloodshed that began in a wrestling ring and ended in a courtroom. A judge ruled today that a professional wrestling legend nicknamed Abdullah the Butcher infected an Ottawa man with hepatitis C during a stage fight. 31-year-old Devin Nicholson was awarded more than $2 million in damages. Our Judy Trent was there when the ruling was made. She joins us now live. Bring us up to date on this story, Judy. 
Lucy, anyone who has watched a professional wrestling match on TV knows that bloody theatrics are often involved. Sometimes wrestlers will use a razor blade to intentionally cut their opponents to make the battle look more dramatic. Now, Nicholson alleged that his opponent, wrestling legend Larry Shreve, a.k.a. Abdullah the Butcher, cut him without his consent and he contracted hepatitis C. Today, a judge agreed that's what happened. Now, a warning. Some of what you'll see is graphic. I won't actually take him to the ground, but this is it. When you aspire to be a professional wrestler, this is how you celebrate a legal victory, by pile-driving your lawyer. Devin Nicholson was awarded $2.3 million in damages. The man who must pay? Wrestling legend Larry Shreve, a.k.a. Abdullah the Butcher. Mr. Shreve himself has been saying all along that I'm a liar, he doesn't have hepatitis C, he didn't cut me, and I believe the judge made it very clear that, yes, he did cut me, I believe she said six or seven times, and uh, yes, he does have a history of hepatitis C. So it's very good to have that on the record after all, this, all these years of being called a liar. Cannot lift a dual butcher. Nicholson says during a wrestling match with Shreve in 2007, Abdullah the Butcher wrapped a contaminated blade around his finger and cut him without his consent. Nicholson would later be diagnosed with hepatitis C and the WWE would cancel his contract. The judge called Shreve a difficult plaintiff. He didn't show up for any of the proceedings and he refused to hand over his medical documents. Still, Shreve will have 30 days to appeal the ruling. But Nicholson's legal team says they're confident the judgment will stand. Their attention is already shifting. He had to get this litigation out of the way. He had to make, bring to an end the injustice that he suffered. But it didn't bring to an end his dream. Nicholson's dream is to return to professional wrestling and reprise his role as the villain Hannibal the Animal. He says he's fit and healthy and after several experimental treatments, cured of hepatitis C. And it would send a great message to people with hepatitis C that just because you have a disease like that doesn't mean you need to lie down and your life isn't over. You don't need to kill yourself. You can beat it. Now Nicholson is ramping up his wrestling training. That's because he plans to head to Iowa next month where he will try out for the WWE again. Adrian. Okay, let's wish him luck. Thanks so much.